about five years ago, uh, just about the same time that I came into contact with Honeymoon in Vegas, I, uh, my daughter, I, you know, I get divorced, <laughs> and uh, after a long marriage, and um, I decided to throw in a towel in, uh, in uh, L.A. I sold, I had a fire sale, and I, I moved east. My daughter was coming here to go to, uh, go to school, and she's finishing up this oh, May, God. and so I said, I'm going go to go to New York and try to, you know, have a different kind of life. And, uh, and that's what I did. I came in, and at the same time, Jason Robert Brown got in touch with me about this play. He'd been working on it for six years. That was five years ago. And, uh, and uh, you know, he played that, that uh, verse. You know, there's this incredible verse, and it goes, uh, When we're young, we think that we're invincible. We act like we know all there is to know. We pop our pills and smoke our dope. And never realize that hope is just a visitor, a guest star on the show. When we're young, we don't know from impossible. We put our faith in moxie and romance. But when it's ripped away, tossed out the door, it strips your innocence right to the core. And soon you spend your time just wishing for a second chance. I was like, I get to sing now? Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm playing it. You know what's funny about it? For those of you who haven't seen the show, it's a total mislead. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, it's so unbelievable. He has manipulated. But, but let me go back and say, well, where is the good voice from? Did, did you just find that because you're having voice lessons? Have you always had a good voice? What's the deal? Uh, well, I'm Italian. Oh, right. so good. Next question. Uh, no, but really, that's just it because around the house. Oh, so no, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, no. I just, uh, I, uh, I've been a closet singer. In fact, you know, you go back to Sammy Khan. I don't forget. He told me, "Come on, sing," and I was like, "Oh, I was proud of that. I just, I can't. I just can't do." You know. Now I'm like, "Please let me sing." <laughs> Please. And yeah. how's the voce holding up? It's great. No, well, you know, it takes a while to get to where you're uh, able to do it, but once you get it, and if you, you gotta be careful. Be careful. Well, you shouldn't be doing, you know, an hour long uh, talk show. Any of the song? Before I get six songs in the show, so you know it's not like. And a tap dance. Now, so you work with all these amazing Broadway people and producers, and this. Who's the person that you've been with on stage that you're like been very inspired by because of something you're impressed by? Oh, uh, there's no question. It's Rob. Rob no, McClure. McClure. Oh yeah. This kid, you know, if you're if you're feeling the least bit lazy, mm -hmm. when you come to work and you watch him, you go, oh come on, you dirty, <laughs> you can't, you know. Mm -hmm. He plays it at such a level. Every minute that you just, you just, it's inspiring. And, um, you know, he, I keep telling people that it's a bad joke, but that he aggravates me because he kind of reminds me how I used to feel. Ah. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's like Superman, you know, he's unbelievable. So it, he's really inspiring. But, but I'll be honest with you, give you an example of, you know, what you, you find out when you're on Broadway and talking about the equality of people. So Rob was out. They threw in the uh, the, the uh, understudy. Right. hadn't hadn't worked with him, so I had to work with him just a little bit for spacing. And uh, it, was, it, was, it was great. He's got a great voice, the Rock kid. But anyway, so uh, um, I was standing in my dress room, and George Merrick, one of the other guys, walked by, and I said, "Hey, George, the kid's good." And George said. You're on Broadway. Everybody's good. <laughs> it's true. The level is so high. What about Nancy Opel? You're obsessed with her. Ah, she's she's just incredible. You know, this is a woman. You know, the other night we all got upset. We all got worried right. because she was warming up. We never. Oh, she never warms up. <laughs> no, no, no. That's okay. And she gets up in the morning. Eight thirty in the morning. She shows up and she's oh, and she's yeah. got a trumpet for a voice. It's a trumpet. And it's so loud. It's not even a voice. It's like a thing. <laughs> Were you there when she when she came when she flew the first time and uh, oh it's so crazy so she you know we have the, she flies in the end of the show she flies in with Victoria's Secret wings on <laughs> and, uh, and so she hadn't done it before and it's you know you it's like a plumb line you're on a you're on a thing so you you have to really balance yourself. And she didn't know that. She didn't understand it. So she came out and she said, Betsy La! And speak that. But now she's upside down and she, there's no way. You, there's nothing you can do. Once you pass that place, no way to go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to hold the show and get Betsy down. And it was like 30 seconds left to the show. Yeah, oh, yeah. 
Four bars. Four bars. What an idiot. Now, so after all these years, do you have any do you have any horrible audition story you'd like to share with us after all your experience you've gone in and no, but it, you know oh. what I would say is what you've learned. What I've learned in auditions is that first of all, shut your mouth and let them imagine what they want to. But also that the thing that you really have to learn, and this is another thing that Rob again taught me, is I was watching Rob in pa at the paper mill. I was off stage, he was about to make an entrance, I was watching him. And I go, Jesus, I can't do that. I can't do what that kid can do. And then I glanced over to the piano player, who was really bad, and I go, Jesus, I can't do what that guy can do either. But those guys can't do what I can do. Yes. And once you buy that, once you really buy that, that changes everything, I think. And and it doesn't mean you're going to get anything more than you did or you didn't, but it just changes the way you approach it and the way you feel about it when it goes your way or doesn't. That's a great attitude. Everyone is unique, and that's the best way to think about it. They're not so competitive. It's, I'm telling you, you can't do what I can do. It's you, You're great. I'm, I, I don't mean I can't do what you can do. There's no way. But if you, if you call me in, this is what I'm going to give you. You know, it's just... Uh, it's a, it's a certain amount of, uh, of confidence that you have to have in everything you do, but, but it's, a, it's a way of focusing that confidence, a way of understanding it.